Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 472. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link, and you can download the workbook Excel Magic Trick 472 to 473. And this trick here, this is a response to a trick I just did a few days ago, Excel Magic Trick 468, where I counted spaces before and the at the end of a text string. An Illinois cowboy from YouTube sent in a much better solution. Now here's the deal. We have some spaces before and after. We want to say there's three before and two after. Here's the formula I did. Escape. Let's come down here and let's see this totally awesome solution. First, we did trim. Trim is great because it just takes all of the spaces out of your text string except for single spaces before, uh, in between words. So in this case, it just got all the ones after and uh, uh, before and after. Then to count the total spaces, we said, hey, what's the length of that? Length will count all the characters, including spaces, and then subtracted. What's the length of this trim? Boom. Now here is the awesome piece that Illinois Cowboy gave us. We're going to use the search function. The search function. And the search is great because it can look inside of a text string. And if I say the letter A, find it, it'll go one, two, three spaces, four, and five, and say, hey, A is the fifth character in this text string. So what are we going to, what's the text we want to find? trim because search is not limited to a single character right now trim will give us rad and what will that do we'll say search comma within this <laughs> what is it going to do well it's going to look in the one with all the spaces find the rad without spaces one two three or I'm sorry four because uh, the letter that big R is the fourth character so this will give us four right we want the first, uh, the number of spaces, so we'll simply subtract one. Is that not beautiful? Search and trim. Double click and send it down. Now, spaces after, we're going to do our little trick where we come in here because we need to say this minus this. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to use Control CC to open up the uh, clipboard. By the way, if you're in 2007, they took out Control CC as a default, so you can always come down to your options, and the way you open up your uh, clipboard is right there. So we got that, and now let's come over here. Control C. Now we've loaded one here and here. So I'm going to escape, and I'm going to come right here and paste this one minus. Now, this has an operation of minus in it, so I'm going to have to put it in parentheses, just like that, right? And so that will work. I've pasted those two things in essence, 5 minus 3. Double click and send it in. Now, uh, Illinois Cowboy was very clever. He knew that uh, a minus, if you bring that in here, uh, using uh, the distributive theory, minus in there will say minus search and minus in there will be minus minus one which is plus one so you actually don't need these parentheses here you can just say minus search plus one and that'll give you the same thing alright all I know is that is beautiful and it's great to be on such a great team here at YouTube and the Mr. Excel message board see you next trick